We're coming to you from the Global Washington Annual Conference, Smarter Approaches to a Changing World, here at the Bell Harbor Conference Center in Seattle, Washington. Octar, things have changed for you recently, but the, the change is for the better. What, what is Octar Bacha doing now besides receiving awards? You know, it is, it, change is always good. And I think, you know, today's morning session kind of highlighted some of the challenges that we face. And where I'm trying to go is to really look at what is we are seeing this first curve approach of investing in social change and this new generation approach, which is actually very different. And there is a growing gap between the two. And what I'm trying to do is try to figure out how I can be a bridge builder between these two curves, the first curve and the second curve of how social investments are taking place. Well, there's always going to be poor people. So if we always have poor people, should do we always have a problem? Well, I mean, I think uh, the, the issue is not so much about income. I think, yes, there will always be people with different levels of income. But the issue is really about equity and sustainability. And if we can figure out a way by which most people have equity, and therefore we've created sustainable environments, then I think that you know we can actually eliminate this notion that there will always be some people that will be poor. So how does a social enterprise work in today's world when there's so much conflict around the world? I mean, I think that what social enterprise is doing is they're trying to pick a particular set of problem and address it there and then look at its success and hope that other social entrepreneurs will come in and emulate it, copy it, modify it, help it go to another place. So that's a distributed model of doing work. Whereas when you come in from a foundation and a philanthropic investment perspective, you're actually trying to do it so that it can scale. And it's more a top-down approach. So I think it's that gap that becomes very interesting in how we bridge it so that we can get the best of both worlds. So how do we do that? So, so I think that the way you can address this gap, or at least the way I'm trying to address this gap, is by doing some leadership development work, doing some training work, particularly at the university level, where you can actually get students trained to be much more effective in how they will actually come into the space and work in the space. You know, and the students of today are really ready to do that, aren't they? Well, I, you know, I have to say that students of, every student has been ready to do this at all generations. When I was a student, I was doing that. When you were a student, you were doing that. So I don't think that, but it is what do we get them ready to do? And that's the important question. Students are always ready to learn. That's why they're students. Specifically, if, if there were a, a college senior who were to say, Mr. Bacha, what can I do to help have a better world? What would you tell them? I mean, I think get to know the world more deeply. Learn, educate yourself. Just don't think that because you have a good idea, you can actually change the world. Yes, I want your enthusiasm, but I also want to really look at you to get far more specifically trained so that you can bring your enthusiasm and knowledge in a far more effective way. You're uh, getting an award here at, Global, at the Global Washington Conference, and it's, it's from my standpoint, it's well-deserved. The question I've got for you is, where are you going to be in five years? What are you going to be doing? You know, I do not look out that far. I will continue to do this work, let's put it that way. I think I will always be in the space where I am trying to fight for equity and sustainability. How I do it, what position in which I do it, and the roles that I play will continue to evolve and shift. But that's something that I believe in. That's something that I'll continue to do. Dr. Bacha, thank you for being with us. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. And I greatly appreciate the award. Rainmaker believes we can change.